Okay, let's uh, take a quick look at using an R package called Knitter. So what does Knitter do? Knitter is very useful when we want to combine different elements of our analysis. Let's say that we have some text that we have written. This may be for a blog post or for a report that we are creating which uses some R for our analysis. So we would have our R code, then we would have the results produced by this R code. And what Knitter does is it takes all these three and seamlessly integrates them into one self-contained document which we can uh, share with others. Here is an example of an actual uh, Knitter generated HTML document that I created a while back. So here it is. As you can see, it has some, uh, this is an HTML file. It has some text. It has some R code that I used. And if you look here, here is a code to generate a plot and then here is the actual plot itself. This is the exact result of this R code. So let's take a look at how we go about creating documents such as these for your analysis. Of course, you need to first install Netter. So in RStudio, here is what you would do. You would go to the packages tab, you would hit on install packages and you just type Netter and then you hit install and it should bring it to your laptop. Okay. So that usually works seamlessly, but I have already done that. So I don't need to uh, install it now but I can actually start using it. But before we can use uh, Knitter, we need to know a little bit about uh, something called Markdown. Markdown is a syntax to very lightly decorate our text. What I mean by this is that if you wanted to emphasize, if you want to italicize a phrase or a part of your text, if you want to have some bold, it's just like HTML with header tags. You can have different hashes signify the boldness or the importance of the headers. You could actually even have parentheses. You would take your linked phrase and put it within square brackets. And then within parentheses, if you put your URL, it creates a hyperlinked uh, text in your uh, knitter or your um, shareable document. You can embed uh, images and so on. Okay, so there is one thing and only one thing we need to know to be able to effectively use knitter. And that is that you should always embed your R code, each chunk of R code, within three back ticks. That's the key right below your tilde key, typically. Curly braces R, close the curly braces. All your R code will go here and you will end it with three more back ticks, but this time there is no curly braces on R, okay? So let's uh, go and see how this actually works. So we would go to R Studio. You can say you want to create a new file, but it could be a new markdown file. This already comes with a little bit of starter for us. And as you can see here, there's already some two chunks of R code here say we don't want this we can say that and then we can change this to my project analysis report uh, you can use some text here and we don't want summary of cars but instead we could write any r code we want maybe we want to look at the structure of a data frame called empty cars you can actually as they say you can embed plots you would do all of this and you would hit this button called knit html if you need more help on uh, markdown itself you can see here under the question mark there is quick markdown reference and it gives you a lot of things in case you want to get more fancy with that after you're happy you just create a, say knit html it wants a name let's say we just call this a demo it's okay to replace and there it is so it has created a, a sample this is an html here it is we are previewing it you can save it and start sharing it with others and then you would go back, you can just make changes to it and so on. So a couple of quick options uh, that are useful. Sometimes we want to share our R code, but we don't want the results of it. In essence, we are telling it not to evaluate the R code. So you just say eval is equal to false within the curly braces and just your R code will be shown. So you could do that. And a second useful phrase is when I want to adjust the size of my plots, I end up using this. So there are two options, fig.width and fig.height in inches. So within the three back ticks and curly braces R, I would say fig width is equal to four, fig height is equal to three, and then my plot code will go here. If I do this, I'm generating a figure, a plot, which is four inches wide, these are in inches, and height is uh, three. So there are, it's a three inch tall, four inch wide plot. And then th and that's it. So again, to summarize, Knitter uses something called R Markdown. It's very easy to do from within Knitter, uh, from within R Studio. You would pull up Knitter, and then you would decorate it with Markdown. Then you would hit, uh, 
you can do all the light formatting just nothing fancy but you can create some bolts and italics and bullets and so on you would place your code within different blocks of uh, three black back ticks and curly braces R when you're happy with it you hit generate HTML and then it generates actually an HTML which you can share with others if you're doing this for class you would create an, H an HTML document generated via knitter and then you would upload it to the site and that's all there is if you want to know a little few more on the options Ihui, who is the creator of this package of the knitter package has this page with the other knitter options. Thank you.